You are kidding me on. Well, welcome to another Primark haul. Another bag full of stuff. Look, chock a block. So, let's get started. Cheers. lovely mm. quite full bodied that one hello and welcome to my channel I'm Andre today's video is another haul video it's a Primark haul and yes Primark can be kind of a hit or a miss but it certainly was a hit with me this time it sure was so let's get straight into what I've been buying for Primark now I didn't have plans to buy anything from Primark but when I was in buying the clothes for my friend's granddaughter I kind of got sidetracked, I kind of noticed things and noticed things so I went in, I did all the shopping for her granddaughter and then I just kept thinking about all the things that I had seen that would have suited me so the next day I went back and um, I did a little bit of damage so let's get right into it first item you will have seen me if you have been watching my hauls that I wore this on um, the men's haul that I did yeah and I'm not gonna wear it now because when I did put it on in that haul it kind of flicked all my hair up you know so I want to keep my hair kind of sitting nice and um, yeah but I'll put it on at the end but this was an absolute fabulous buy I mean what does that remind you of does that not scream Gucci it certainly does and for four pounds oh my goodness you cannot go wrong four pounds and you know what if you don't like you know they do varieties of um, decorations on the hats but you can easily add your own Hermes Twilly or your Dior one or whatever you can add your Chanel brooch to it and just jazz it up I mean bargain and four pounds what more do you want then I picked up some jewelry which again you will have seen me wear in my videos and I decided to pick up the costume jewelry and cheap costume jewelry because I don't want to have items that I'm going to worry about on holiday you know I just you know if I lose it I've lost it it's a couple of pounds so this set here I really liked and I picked it up because of these earrings here but even these smaller ones here they are ideal for wearing through the day when you're around the pool and you don't have to worry about them so you get these hooks here and I don't know if it's going to focus so you get these lovely hoops that have got these double hoops through here and then just some smaller hoops which you can wear through the day and then all these smaller studs and that set there was four pounds and I have worn these already and they would go with everything the second pair I got and I've been wearing these these are the kind of huggies and again these are for through the day the set that's missing there Ruth has got but they actually irritated Ruth's ears I'm normally not very good with costume jewellery either but for some reason these Primark ones don't bother me at all so you know if you lose them you don't mind and again these I got for wearing in the evening and you will have seen me wearing these again on my videos these are in the gold tone and they were three pounds and these are very similar to the ones Zara have which were 12.99 and I wasn't ready to be spending £12.99 for earrings from Zara so I picked these up for £3 then I thought just to have a silver pair I got these are I was wearing these in my last video as well what they look like and these were oh, holding that upside down these were £2 there we go so you know if you lose them you don't mind and then again when you're on holiday you need to put your hair up so I grabbed one of these I'm always buying these out of Primark um so this was 150 I think I picked up two one to take with me and one to keep here so yeah just this kind of what's it called oh, a hair core okay okay let's move on so the next item are these <gasps> aren't they absolutely beautiful this kind of snake skin effect and 
and these tie around your leg and these are espadrilles from Primark and they are a dupe for the Catania I think that's what it's called, I'll put it here the Catania ones, if that's what they're called, are sold on Netta Porter and they start at around £80 and these are a perfect dupe for them. These were, how much were these? £14. And I absolutely love these. They're not for me, they're for my friend because um, she kind of asked me if I saw anything nice to pick it up for her and I thought these were lovely and I loved them at the time but... I didn't buy them and I went back for them and this particular style had sold out <laughs> and gutted and these are a size 7 do you know I looked at them there and it said size 6 but it must you know it's a 9 and it's a 7 it's actually a 7 <gasps> I thought I picked up the wrong size where I was kind of thinking mm, they'll fit me but no they are for her aren't they just lovely would go with anything those espadrilles next item I got again for my friend and I got these and I absolutely absolutely love these and these I did go back for and if you follow me on Instagram you'll know I went back and I got myself a pair and then and then I'll show you them so these retailed for how much were these uh, I think they were 14 pounds but um, yeah so that's what they look and this very almost nothing their shoe is very in and of course the snake skin is very in as well so these two are not mine these are for my friend and I'm sure she will love them and I'm gutted I didn't get those espadrilles but here's mine just here and £12 they are so I went back when I went back the next day I thought oh, I'm gonna get them I need them because look at that perfect perfect match aren't they just the perfect match and they will be perfect for me to wear in cyprus and again i don't is that bag gonna fall i could hear the chain rattling i don't know if it's gonna fall um so again at 12 pounds you know you don't have to worry about ruining the heel or anything like that so absolutely love them couldn't and then when i went back and i couldn't get these because Primark have this style in all sorts because they have them in black, red, gold, silver, the snake skin, everything like that. I picked these up for myself and how much did I say these were? I can't remember. What did I say these were? These were £14. So because I couldn't get the snake skin I picked them up in gold and I absolutely love them on I really do I mean I didn't initially plan to take these with me because I felt they were too close but I think I am going to take them with me because I really really like them I might even wear them traveling actually but I'll see so yeah mine are in a size six see and none of this was planned it was because I went in for my friend another pair of shoes <laughs> I know these I couldn't resist these I tried them on and I absolutely loved them and you know the good thing about uh, Primark shoes is they do the wide fit as well and this is the wide fit in a size 6 and they were £8 and I really really love these and again this is the kind of thing you can wear during the day or at night and comfortable and it has that kind of leopard skin so yeah love them I think that's all the shoes you'll be glad to know next item was this bag here and this again is for my friend and this is 12 pounds and it also has a long strap in there and then this kind of very fashionable um see-through what's it called perplex or whatever it is that what's it called i can't remember the um same as my shoes anyway that kind of on the handle and yes just the perfect perfect summer bag so that's the other item i bought i'm running out of space here the next item I got myself a pair of pyjamas from Primark. I love Primark pyjamas. I always buy my pyjamas from Primark. And I thought this would be lovely for a holiday and easy to wash. So I could just wash them because, you know, I like to wash my pyjamas every day. 
I think everybody does. But anyway, so easy to wash and dry on a daily basis. So I got these in a size small, which is a size 10 to 12, 450, and the top was 450 as well. And I thought these were perfect. Do you know, I wish I had picked up another pair of them, but you know, I've got other pajamas I could take with me. Next item was this. Now this one here, and this is a cover up for my bikini. And this was the one I came home with, but never realized, see the sizing in Primark confused me because I'm normally a size medium. So I just picked up the size medium. But the size medium in Primark is a size 14, it's a size 12 to 14, which is too big for me. Although in something like that, it doesn't really matter. But that cover up was five pounds. But this is going back because I ended up getting it in the size small. But it was all right in the um, size medium, but you know, something like that doesn't really matter because it has a drawstring. I'll show you it when I get to the uh, proper size one. So the other item is this kind of linen dress and I picked this up for my friend as well. I thought this was lovely for Cyprus. It's got the um, ruching, the elastic ruching at the back. It's got the tie detail in the front and it's wee straps and it's also got a zip and I thought this would be lovely and airy for Cyprus. And this was £10. They were good and a lovely colour for Cyprus. So I picked that up for her because I thought she would like that. The other item I picked up for her was this white denim dress. And again, I went back to get myself this dress as well because I brought it home and I thought that will be lovely for wearing on holiday and so easy. And you know, with denim dresses, it's so much better to get them with the zip and not the buttons because sometimes the buttons tend to kind of open up and you can see through them. And I thought, oh, the zip would be perfect, the straps, I need to get myself one. And of course, they were all sold out and I couldn't get it in my size. This was £13, so a white denim dress. And that was my friend and then I was showing it to Ruth and Ruth said she had managed to pick one up for herself so I'm jealous I didn't pick one up for myself the other item again this is a cover-up not sure about this this initially I had planned to take back and again when I showed it to Ruth she said she also picked this up it's quite good when mother-in-law and daughter-in-law have the same taste isn't it but I'm not sure about this yet. When I tried it on, it was too clingy and I got this in the size medium and I still felt it was quite clingy. This was 10 pounds. There we go. So I'm not sure about that one. So here's the one I picked up in a size small for myself. And this is what I was seeing. It's got this pull detail here. So it really doesn't matter about the sizing. And it's got this bit at the back to hold it all on, basically, so that the sleeves, the shoulders are not falling down. So yeah, this I ended up getting it in a size small. And like I said, it was five. You are kidding me on. Apparently it's an extra large. Look. Seriously? You're having a laugh. How on earth did I do that? Right, I guess it's this one that will be going back and I'll be keeping that one. How? Huh? Anyway, extra large. I'm sure I tried it on as well and it fitted. I need to have a look at that again. Right, bikini. There we go. I saw this and I liked this and I won't be trying this on. I picked this up in two sizes. Um, it here. So I picked this up, hopefully I picked it up in a 10 and a 12, but I'm sure I did because I tried it on. So the top is a 12, 
so that's going to be going back so it's got all the lovely little sequins matches well with my uh, top here little sequins and I love things like that because when the sun kind of catches it it's, it glistens and it's lovely so the top was eight pounds and this was in a size 12 so that's going to be going back so I also got it in a 10 and I'm going to keep this in a size 10 so eight pounds so I'm keeping the top in a size 10 and I also picked up the bottoms in a 10 and a 12 and um, that's the 10 and that's going to be going back so I'm going to keep the 12 in the bottoms and the bottom is six pounds and I'm going to keep the 10 in the top because I'm Greek and I'm kind of like that <laughs> you know next item oh the bag's fallen I got myself this denim dress and I couldn't get it in a size 10 which is my size and I ended up getting it in a size 12 because I thought I'm just going to grab it because you know, I'm not one for trying things on in pre-mark because it's absolute pandemonium so I decided to get this in a size 12 it is a tiny little bigger bag but you know in the hot weather in Cyprus the bigger the better so I managed to get myself this little denim dress and this was £13 just perfect next item is this right here you know I love myself some neon and this cost me it was I'm sure this was reduced this I'm sure this was reduced to two pounds it was it's I got it in a size 10 yeah there we go its original price was four pounds but I got it reduced for two pounds can't go wrong for two pounds can you next item and again these kind of tops they have in a variety of colors in Primark and the same with this, this they had this in a white in a black and so many different colors and you know I love this because it's lined in the front there you can see it's lined and at the back it's lined up to that point there and then it's not lined and I, I just love it I think it's absolutely beautiful in this lovely lemon color and this was eight pounds and you know the day that day when i went back i was just kind of grabbing things i thought oh, i'll just get them try them on when i go home like this when i looked at it i thought oh it's two pounds i'll just try it on and i absolutely love it on cotton wool cosmetic pads 100 percent cotton and you have a hundred of them in here for 90 pence honestly that is good value so they'll be going on holiday with me and I also picked up this I've been using I don't know if you noticed but I've been using fake tan well actually it's the moisturizer with the fake tan and I'm using the Garnier one just now which I absolutely love because I use the Dove one and to me that's more like a fake tan and it's streaky this Garnier one I love just thought I'd tell you so I apply it with uh, a mitt and this one had a thumb I, I was actually needing new mitts i really do go through them and i normally get the cheap ones out of primark but this one thought was ideal because it actually has a thumb on it see if i can open it up and it feels oh feels lovely and velvety maybe that's why it's called the can't see now because i've taken the the thing out it's called the velvet thumb mitt there we go great for applying and it does mm, feels lovely but and that was 350 another hair click clip just the same as the first one 150 i also decided to try this one step night cleanser i thought this would be ideal for holiday this was five pounds so it's oil to milk conditioning cleanser for all skin types so there you go it's got cotton seed jojoba and so on and so forth there we go it's supposed to just melt the makeup off so i thought that would be just a nice one step and then to top that i decided to try the gentle micellar cleansing water which was two pounds as well 
I just thought I've never tried them before I just thought I would try them and then uh, you know you know when you're into your fashion everybody's wearing these kind of um hairbands now with the knot on the top this was two pounds and you know if I don't like the way it looks it'll be great for holding my hair back when I'm uh, doing my makeup how does that look do you like it is it nice Would you like me to try the hat on now, soon as I'm ruining my hair? Let's take the hairband on. And there we go. There's my hat. Happy holidays, everybody. If you're going on holiday, I'd like to wish you a very, very happy holiday. If you're on holiday and watching me right now, I'm going on holiday as well, so cheers. And I'll catch you next time. Oh, next video is a bag unboxing. Ah, yeah, a bag unboxing. Cheers. Bye. Oh, if you want to see more videos from me, I'm going to link one here, one here. And if you're not already subscribed, just press the A here. Yeah, right here. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.